Aquaman, man. My man. Does whatever Aquaman can. Yeah, pretty much. And then some more. Yeah, you have to go back to the whole... Justice League thing? Because that's Justice what I was going to say. You have to go back to the whole Justice League thing. But even before Justice League thing, people like... When it was announced that they're going to put Aquaman in there, people like... He talks to fish. Which is like one of the biggest misconceptions about Aquaman. is Definitely. like he lives underwater and he talks to fish. And it's like... Uh, yeah. He talks to fish. That's one of his and powers. It's like, how can you make a hero that's on the surface uh, kind of insignificant well, for uh, people who don't read comics. Like just, like Aquaman is a guy who talks to fish. How important can he be to the whole DCEU or whatever they're calling it now? Still DCEU. Still DCEU? Okay. So the thing is like what better way to make him relevant than to cast Jason Momoa to act the guy? Okay. Because he, he was, the, he was yeah. the perfect casting choice. The, uh, I mean, uh, unless you saw the whole uh, Instagram post, the Henry Cavill thing with the spoon, with the fork. The Aquaman, man. Thank God they cast him as Superman before that, otherwise he would have been Aquaman. But the whole thing is like, Jason Momoa, you cannot, you can't not like the guy. Agreed. He's likable. He's very. He, has, he grows on you. Definitely. Like, even man. if you don't like him, I never watched go. North Shore, but maybe a few times when it was on TV, I would catch an episode or two. But it's like uh, I liked him as Khal Drogo. I liked him in uh, Stargate Atlantis. Yeah, I mean, uh, I didn't watch Conan. I mean, I was watching you watching it, but it was like uh, just Conan didn't. Back to but anyway, when they announced as far as Conan is concerned, I watched that movie twice. I fell asleep both times, and he has nothing to do with Jason Momoa's performance. Just the fact that the whole movie is blah. Like, if I got to watch Conan, I'm putting in the Arnold Schwarzenegger version. Come on. Uh, but there's, that was like the bite the bullet with the yeah. Sylvester Stallone that he did. Like, he's a likable character. On screen. Off screen? It's a good movie. He portrays the bad guys, Stallone's the good guy, and there's a, they have a showdown at the end. There's like axes and hammers and stuff. It's really good. What did you say it was? Bite the bullet. It's like an hour and a half long. And Anyways, he, but, we get to the Justice League, right? Yeah. Then, but if you watch him off screen, he's a lovable character. Definitely, man. And so, when you cast him in, and Justice League is like, okay, Jason Momoa is Aquaman. Now that's like a lot more believable than, you know, hey, we have a guy that talks to fish. <laughs> yeah, okay. You know? Yeah. <laughs> but people are still like, uh, he still talks to fish, though. Come on. I know he's Momoa, but you know. Yeah. And then you saw him in Justice League, and now, to be fair, he didn't have as much screen time as I would have but liked him to. Definitely, man. Definitely. But he still stole the movie. But for he me. stole the movie. Like, he was one of those high points of the movie, and then people are just like, I thought he talked to fish, man. Yeah. Because it just didn't work. And then at that point, you already knew we we're going to get an Aquaman movie. So now it's like. It was oh, already right. announced. You, you, oh, we yeah. knew it was coming. But we didn't know what. But Justice League kind of stole. Like, he yeah. sealed the deal. Like, people like, okay, we want to go see Aquaman. And Aquaman grossed like one, over $1 billion. Yeah. Globally. Which is, you know, in Hollywood terms means we're going to get a sequel. Like, if not more. Yeah, even if he talks to fish in the movie, we're still gonna go sequel because he grossed billion dollars in the first one. Yeah. That's a lot of fish, man. My man. That's my favorite quote, man, from Justice League. He's just yeah, like, yeah. he's picking up those demons one by one, whatever their names are, and he jumps in the air, he's like, uh, Cyborg picks him up and he's like, hey, we're not done, there's more. My man. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, man. Oh. Yeah, that's why I was excited to see okay, the Aquaman so movie. Are you like was... spoiling the movie or not? Because at this, at this point, point it's not... yeah. yeah. We're spoiling it. So we if you haven't really seen it, out, yeah. go watch it. Go watch it, definitely go watch it. If it's still playing on the big screen, I mean, go watch it. I mean, it's already This is like. Yeah, at this point, go watch it. We'll definitely go if watch it. If it's still playing. It's still yeah. playing the one war cinemas, at least. So it's probably playing outside as well. Go watch the movie, man. At least at the time of recording of this video. Yeah. Yeah. Well, knowing you, you're gonna release it this week. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so it doesn't really we have, matter. We have like one month to catch up, man. So yeah, yeah. of content uh, to catch up with. Yeah. yeah.
she get, so like you know you figure out once the Aquaman starts you get a little bit sneak peek at the origin story you know mom falls in love and blah 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 he has it's a pretty solid religion. story and you know what you know what I like the most about his origin story and the lighthouse because we grew up on the lighthouse it's like that's the, that's the thing that got me the most man yeah it is yeah. like father going dude that, that was like you know definitely you know it's a good love story man it's a good yeah. origin story and then you meet up with the grown-up Aquaman and uh, Amber Heard shows up with the whole yeah yeah you're the queen of you're the king of Atlantis blah 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 whatever go come claim thy throne almighty one and it's just like which is you know you kind of expect it at this point you know like and hey, let's not forget and the, uh, thou has defeated the Stephen of, of the wolves and it's like and you're Stepping of the wolves. Yeah, step, step hen of the wolves. <laughs> We're gonna have fun with this one. I'm just saying, you know. Oh man, we haven't had fun with the movie since Beauty and the Beast. Oh, man. that was fun. That was fun. <laughs> that was like an epic, epic level rank right there. <laughs> but here it's like there's nothing bad I can say about this movie. Yeah, and like, what's the um, Green Goblin guy's name? I always forget. Uh, yeah. The guy who plays his mentor, uh, like he teaches yeah. him combat, teaches him, you know. The how name to, escapes me. Yeah. How to how to win. But Bulldog saying he did dress up as a woman. Yeah, there was a scene. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he was trying to yeah. catch the Bulldog saints. Only to join him. You know, nice twist at you. Yeah, let, dude. Let's not digress. Okay. I mean, as far as Aquaman goes, and, and you know, you have to put the entire movie into the, uh, the under the sea, not into the sea, under the sea. Well, here's the thing you have to understand about it: you're dealing with the mythology, so you have to present it as such. The whole on-screen thing with the the whole like people uh, on the surface don't believe there is an Atlantis, and yeah. people in Atlantis having delusions about what it's up. Not just delusions, they just don't play, don't like them. And justifiably so, I mean, oh, yeah, yeah. they're definitely like the surface people, uh, you know, they're definitely, you know, not being good towards the sea, they're polluting, throwing their trash, like, I'd be pissed off too. But still, they have grand delusions, oh, yeah. in my opinion. But it's have like, to look at we're all living like on say, the same planet. You have to planet. look at, like, from the mytholo mythological point of view. It's like, the whole, especially when it comes between the whole, like, uh, they fight for the throne, and like you have tribes and then like even if you're king of Atlantis you kind of have to unite them all if you want to go up fight the surface dwellers and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's like mythology come to life similar as we have seen with Wonder Woman, Woman and just like with Wonder Woman DC does a fantastic job here. Explaining it like story wise they didn't just throw it together and jumble it up and hope it stick. It actually they put effort into making the story that's believable, that's relatable. You know? Yeah. And the whole, when uh, the, the Mera is uh, Amber's name? Mara, yeah. Mara, yeah. When Mara joins... Uh, or Mara, or yeah. who cares? When she joins... She's gorgeous and yeah. she's hot, so it's like, she and powerful. So. And redhead. And redhead, yeah. Can't be that, man. When she joins uh, Jay to go hunt for the lost uh, trident of Atelan. That will help him defeat, you know, the, his uh, evil. Claim uh, his throne, basically. Claim defeat his throne his and evil defeat brother, yeah. his evil younger brother. Half brother, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's just, the whole thing's like it's perfect. The whole thing makes sense. The whole thing fits together, and the whole like he has to go into the deepest, darkest parts of the ocean, yeah. to in order to claim like he has to fight unsufferable stuff and it's like yeah and we talked to when sense. we talked about the Meg you know it's like uh, realistically speaking we still haven't you know we know more about space than we know about our ocean right oh, so yeah. it's like a they're still not discovered, there, discovered yeah. Yeah. yeah and Jules Verne wrote one of the best books on the topic as well so can't wait to see this uh, remake of the movie but it's like you know there's a lot of stuff that you can put down there too so it's like it was you worth, see I was very liberties. yeah you can Take With a lot of liberties, and yeah. I was wondering how they were gonna portray, you know, the whole living under, living under the sea kind of thing. And we got to see, we even got to see how Atlantis went down there and how they developed and you know evolved to be able to. It's one of not all of them drawn too. So the only problem I had with the movie, there's one thing I had a problem with. 
Vermont shows up at the end? No. I had no. I knew she, mom was gonna be. Well, she had to. I, I, it just made sense, you know. It's like there was somebody there watching. Them. I was like, oh, that's his mom. I, oh, look at that. that that's no, his mom. No. But that's not the problem I had with the. You know what the, the problem I had with the movie? Black that, Mamba. No, not even him. Well, the, maybe a little bit with his dad at the beginning. He was like, uh, oh, we're gonna kill all these innocent, you know, soldiers. But then uh, we're gonna blame you for not saying my dad, who's a bad guy, and he was gonna kill all these people just for the submarine, and we're gonna, you know, it's like, what the fuck, dude? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> my name is Inigo Montoya. Killed it's, my father. I mean, at least they found a good actor for the dad. So it's like he always plays those kinds. Of, not that necessarily that evil, but he always plays those kinds of characters. He's great on the rookie too. But uh, yeah, playing, yeah, yeah, I agree, I agree. <laughs> But Plays another dad. Yeah, but the problem I had with the movie was uh, they destroyed that uh, Sicilian town, man. Like all that stone, all that history, man. We all live in a 1700-year-old town that's similar to that, man. I felt like I was home, you know. Even though it was Sicily, even though they were speaking Italian. It was I had no problem with it. I you know what little... bothered me? Eating roses, man. Uh, dude, that was just a normal thing to do. I mean, if you're, oh, yeah, yeah. Let's if you're a planting, you've maybe. never been above surface, you've never seen a flower, you don't know what it is. Maybe it is for eating. You don't know. How can you know until you try? <laughs> I literally have no words. <laughs> no words. Yeah, so the destruction, of that, the destruction of that town bothered me a lot. You know what would have bothered me had they not destroyed it? Because if they fought there and not destroyed the town, they'd be like, what? This ain't Dragon Ball Z, it's like, that'd Listen. be cool though. If Jason was like, dude, 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 let's move it out there so we don't destroy the city. But nobody does that. Listen, like, man. Collateral damage became Definitely, but a vital, even like, I wouldn't I would, say central part. I wouldn't have like a every problem. Every superhero movie dude, has. Definitely. We talked about it in, in our Man of Steel review. And it makes sense. But to me, it just, I, I don't know, if it was just one part of the town, I would have no issue with it. Like but the, it's a small town, there is no one part of it. There was that statue thing where he was uh, looking uh, to, you know, find where the Yeah, and the town like, that was on top, because the town didn't go into the... It wasn't a white town, it was a high town. Yeah, I know, so that's the like, problem I had. They could have stayed in that area, they could have gone, you know... They could have stayed there, you know? They, they couldn't, they literally couldn't have. Because the movie, literally, the town literally slopes downwards. So if they fought on top, there's no other place to go than down. And behold, the down is the town. Like they have fine, to rank the town. Fine, you got me. Okay, fine. I got no. <laughs> there was no I got possible no way to, to not destroy the town. Otherwise, other than Black Mamba being like, uh, or Jay being like, hey, let's not fight here because we don't want to wreck the town. Let's just go there. And fine, fine. That. You win. You win that I'm one. Sorry. I, this is like you got me. There's no logical way to not destroy the town. Well, it could have been made like Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> could have been, that'd be so cool, man. But nobody does that. That's a shame, though. That's a shame. The Dragon Ball Evolution tried to do that, but it didn't. Hey, did, 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 let, let's not bring Dragon Ball Evolution into this, okay? All right, all right. We talked about M. Night Shyamalan. Just, uh, let's not do the whole, you know, uh, the last Avatar, the last Ten Bird and Bender thing. <laughs> right? just, no, no. Just, let, let's not just... Let's not... Want, <laughs> Dragon Ball Evolution is still a better movie than Airbender. <laughs> Not by much, <laughs> mind you, but just a little bit. <laughs> and every little bit helps! Uh, <laughs> that movie is so bad, it wasn't even nominated for Golden Raspberry. Alright, that's all I'm saying. Well, uh, to, in order to be nominated for the Raspberry, you, your movie has to make a lick of, at least a lick of sense. So, anyways. Um. Anyways, uh, so I know we went all over the place with Dr. Man. Oh man. Should be told only reason why we did that because the movie came out over a, year, a month ago. It came out last year. <laughs> last year, man. Yeah. So we actually felt took a certain liberty in uh, industry view. But all this <sighs> to say this movie is really enjoyable. Really I just likeable. wait for the trailer. Uh, just story. wait for the Bumblebee review, okay? Oh yeah, I'm gonna have fun with Bumblebee, man. <laughs> But, and the thing is, like, go watch this movie. It's a fun movie, it's an enjoyable movie, and it is, uh, as he can attest, he watched it with our younger brother. So he can actually bring your yeah. kids into it. There's nothing really, st it's like, I don't want to put my kids through this. You can, your kid's going to have fun, because the story, uh, it's not complicated. It, it, is, it is easy to follow, even with the whole mythology thing. 
the acting, like, the casting choices were on point. And I think, I don't know, hopefully, everybody had fun making this movie because it kind of shows on screen. Definitely. People man. were having fun. Definitely. The whole movie clicked. So go watch it if you didn't. If you watched it, go watch it again. It's worth it. Uh, you want to rate it? Uh, I'm giving it a 23. I concur. I could have gone higher, but I concur. Uh, I, I think it's like it's Aquaman, okay? Let's be real here. I mean, he is their sequel to Superman, but it's, it's like, uh, yeah, it's a lot of fish. And there's even one scene where I said that during the movie, you know, when that big tidal wave and uh, the uh, yeah. Ocean Master, who's not yet Ocean Master, who, you know, tries to att kill Aquaman, who's not yet Aquaman, or he is, I don't know, man, but it's like, it's like... It's not as confusing as he makes it out to be. Yeah, definitely. Trust me. But go watch this, it's fun. Or maybe I was talking about the animal he was talking to at the end of the movie when he was... Uh, that was the fun him. part. That was the whole... I like, love that part, man. I was like, it takes a lot of like, fish to feed this animal. Yeah. Because that's like the whole where talking to fish thing comes into play. Because when he was a kid, he was bullied because he talked to fish. Because he'd go to an aquarium and he actually talked to fish. And it's... It was fun how they took the spoof of he talks to fish as yeah. being his moniker. And had it play such a vital role at the end. And you see, in uh, Justice League, man, like, he's a powerful dude. Anybody who reads comic books, anybody who watched the animated series, people who they actually know, yeah, know the read comic like books know that he beat the crap out of Superman a couple of games. So yeah. he, he's not into, you know, he's not just the dude who talks to fish. Yeah, definitely. There's more to him than meets the eye. And I, for one, can't wait for the sequel or the Justice League sequel or whatever is, uh, they're gonna put him in next. Man, yeah, whatever they decide to do next, uh, this point, I, I heard they delayed the, the Batman movie, so it's like because Ben Affleck doesn't want to do it anymore. Apparently, Henry Cavill doesn't want to do Superman either. So, the future of DCEU is definitely well, you know what with one big do. question mark. And with the thing they're doing next year with their uh, CW shows. Uh, they're doing the, I was just uh, going to say they're going to do Crisis on Infinite Earths. Earth. I doubt so they're they going to bring movies into that. I don't think they can bring the movies into that, but what I do think is they can bring them into the movie wars. Who knows, man? Because Who if knows? you lose Superman, what better way to change him up with them than Supergirl? You have Supergirl a movie. You already have your Green Arrow, he can do a movie. He's your, like, I don't think I'd want to see it, though. No, I wouldn't want to see it, but I still go see it if they do it. Oh, definitely. But all this to say that at this point, DC is just like one big... I have they no do, idea like, Because what CW does for the TV, I think it's pretty solid, pretty good, and it's oh, great yeah. for TV. Yeah, definitely. If they had a little bit bigger budget, it would be even more better. But, you but I don't think I'd want to see like, them on screen. Arrow's coming to an end. There's only so much they can do with Flash and the TV show. Yeah, at this point, I don't know, man, because... I mean, you can keep them going. But it's just like, uh, at one point, it just gets worn out, you know? True. They're doing a lot of stuff with Legends, though. They're they do. I'm enjoying the Legends. Mickey rocks. The yeah. guy's like the best character ever. Because with Flash and the Legends, they can do a lot. They can. And uh, I'm also thinking uh, the Crisis on Infinite Earths, they're going to bring in Supergirl into this. They're going to mix them up, finally bring it all together. Now, now that they can... And Supergirl and because Superman are going to be universes. part of the... I think Superman and Supergirl are going to be part of this universe. So there's a lot of stuff that they can do with that. And they brought in uh, the... Um, what's it, Bad Woman 2 in one of the shows. And she's going oh, no, to get her own else, show. Those, those were yeah, but she's, she's going to get her own show. show. Right, yeah. So, and Ruby Rose is pretty solid in my book. I mean... Oh yeah, I agree. I agree. So it's like there's a lot of stuff they can do with on TV. So yeah, who knows? So TV at this point is a lot better than the moviverse, but uh, at this point, who knows? You know, it's DC. Uh, we're still waiting for the. Well, they released uh, yesterday a uh, Shazam uh, teaser or something. I didn't watch it, but oh, it's like either. I'm looking forward to Shazam anyway. So I'm gonna see it anyway. So it's like, you know, why watch? It's like. So while well, there's a lot of question marks hanging over the DC and Green Core. Where is the Green Lantern Corps movie? So, yeah. Like we said, while there are many questions hanging over the DCEU, Aquaman is a movie that can put your mind at ease. With that, let's put it up.